I became a widow uh, in, in 2014, uh, and uh, well, we were uh, together for 30 years. But after that, then that's when I became homeless. Now, I've been homeless. I've been homeless uh, many times. Uh, most of the time, uh, through un, un, you know, situations out of my control. I have a lot of health issues, and so I had a hard time being able, to, as a single parent, to not only have a house, but to provide for my 16-year-old son. It's crazy if you've seen what I've seen in the people out here who, who's in situations like that. Most of them just are hopeless, man. You know, um, I'm, I'm glad I didn't grow up that way. I always look to the sky. You know, so when I look in that direction, there's always hope. This building here, um, I knew of since I was a mayor here. It had been sitting for about three years empty. Um, this was a great opportunity uh, for the city to say, hey, you know, here's, here's something that we can do right away. Put some people in homes that are, don't have homes or make them affordable uh, to where people can afford to move into them, even though you know they've been struggling financially. The, this whole project is, is, I think, one of the coolest things I've ever done. I love how it was so many people involved, you know, between the city and our, our company, and then a lot of volunteers, a lot of people that came in and worked on it, you know, and, and for no cost at all. Our organization canvassed the neighborhood around Solar Circle to make sure if there were some issues that people had about this housing development, that they, their voices would be heard. We went before uh, the, the Altoona City Council to present uh, the idea of this housing project. Solus Circle is an incredibly successful project and also very exciting because from our perspective, it's the first intentional, collaborative, public, private, civic development in our region. Living here at Solace Circle has been amazing, um, physically, mentally, economically. Living here has, uh, it most definitely protected me. You know, it was like right on time for the coronavirus. Since I've been here, you know, I've been able to get a real decent car. Uh, I've been able to build up my credit. I've been able to save money. I've been able to start a full-time job. Hopefully within the next year here, man, I'll uh, purchase a house, my first house, yeah. Coming here has made a huge difference. I mean, it gave me a you know, feeling that I, I can do it. To be able to pay your bills on your own, not having to worry about someone helping you, it's given me hope. This is my first time ever, ever being on my own, ever. I'll be 60 next month. This is the first time. It's been heaven sent, and whom, which if you, if you speak to anyone else in here, they will tell you the same thing. The first thing I thought was we need more. We need more places like this. Housing affordability is, is gonna be a problem for a, a long, long time. This is just another piece of the overall plan that we have as far as housing needs within the community, whether they tend to stay here and like it or they move on to bigger and better places, but at least we're providing them a place to start. I want these blessings to go on. And believe me, it's needed, especially in these times. It's really needed and I want to see other people just as happy as we are.